Well, a good attacking scrum, just five yards out, five metres out away in that left-hand corner. So Irish backs spread across the field with Dylan Armitage right down here in front of us on the right wing, looking for the cross-field kick, no doubt. But Richie Rees has the drive going forward, commanding his troops at the back from scrum half, and Rees goes through the gap and goes to the line himself, and Richie Rees has the first try of the afternoon, a great bit of sniping from the scrum half. The drive was there, Rees saw the gap, picked up, went past the scrum half, and over he went. Richie Rees, in his second appearance for London Irish, has scored his first try with uh, ten minutes on the clock. It's London Irish five, Saracens uh, three. Well, just going back to the prop situation, the, I mean, the, the spectre of uncontested scrums already looms in this game, because one more injury to an Irish scrum, and that's what we get, which is, is an awful state of affairs. It is, it's terrible. I think we have seven props on our books at London Irish, and I think four are injured at the moment. So, uh, yeah, uncontested scrums could be around the corner. Well, let's hope not, because the game instantly loses any space with the flankers being, uh, well, essentially free licence to roam. The uh, line-out won by London Irish, Simon, sorry, Olivier Magna feeds on to Simon and in, in midfield, driving up towards halfway. This time they managed to uh, take the tackle and not knock it on. Everett attacks down the narrow side onto Mike Horak. Horak, is, if he can get the pass inside him, Horak's away. He goes himself, he steps through the tackle, it's poor defence, but it's a really well-taken try for Mike Horak. Down the left wing he goes, bad defending from Saracens. Horak went through two tackles. He was looking for the pass inside him to Dylan Armitage, but he didn't need to. He could go himself, and London Irish are right back in this game with that try with eight minutes left of this first half. It's London Irish 10, Saracens 12. Everett now with the opportunity to level this match out. 10-12 Irish now trail, but this conversion is not an easy one. It's in from the left touch line by about seven or eight yards or so. And he's taken it back to just outside the 22. The crowd, as always, will tell you. As Everett just glances up as Saracens. Some of the defenders rush a little early on him, and they, back they go. And now Saracens... Players come forward again as Everett strikes the ball right-footed and the crowd will tell you that it's a good one. Ex and the match kick. is all square, it's 12-all, and that's a very good kick from Barry Scrum here and it would be a really good time to go into uh, half-time with a, with a lead for London Irish. But uh, again, Dallin Armitage drifts right the way down onto this right wing as Flutie takes the position at Scrum half. But I uh, wouldn't be surprised to see a drive here from London Irish. Forward they go edging forward and the front rows have gone down so uh, Leguizamon picks up and goes down the narrow side, lovely dummy from Leguizamon and over goes Leguizamon, great work from the Argentinian number 8 we were giving him a bit of stick early on but that was wonderful skills from him, sold the dummy over he went, no, no chance of stopping him from that sort of range and London Irish lead Saracens by 17 points so to 12. Barry Everett now with a chance just to extend the lead, 17-12 Irish lead which feels a lot more healthy from an Irish point of view and uh, the third try of the afternoon as well as Everett from pretty much the same spot he got the last conversion just takes his time over it as always and this time Saracens players don't jump the gun Everett strikes it, Horton up very quickly but uh, Everett's got the kick straight through the middle and with one minute left of this half it's now London Irish 19 Saracens 12 the, uh, Barry Everett at fly half this afternoon with Flutie and Tiasi in the centres Armitage and Tanga Thakbar on the wings and Horak at full back and uh, Everett gets us underway with a deep kick to the left towards the left hand touchline gathered by Ben Russell inside his own 22 and he drives towards the 22 metre line back it goes from Raul Looney to Jackson strikes with his right bit charged down Richie Reese can he score a try he's fallen on the ball and that's a try for London Irish right at the start of the second half Glenn Jackson was too slow with his clearance Richie Reese, well what a great match he's having second try for the young Welshman with just 30 seconds played in the second half London Irish 24 Saracens he's, a, he's almost a stereotypical scrum half and that he's sort of so bubbly isn't he and uh, lively when you talk to him yeah he's a lovely lad now and he's fitted into the team really well and uh, just a, hard, a really hard worker which is great well two tries for the hard work so far and uh, Barry Everett now with the conversion just outside the 22 and just off centre with a chance to make it 26-12 for London Irish right side for him and he's always already slotted a couple kicks harder than this one this afternoon as he strikes the ball right footed and uh, through it goes no problems for Barry Everett and uh, well, 41 minutes gone, London Irish 26, Saracens 12. It's a big test for Richard Scuse's fitness this afternoon. He's going to have to play the whole half with Neil Hatley having gone off. But uh, well, he's really coming back from injury, that's what you tend to forget. He's uh, played all four games so far, but only passed them so far. The two front rows go down and it's again a good scrummage this time from London Irish. Bit of a nudge pushing Saracens back, so Raoulouni moves it to the back. It's long pass to Scarborough up on the line. Scarborough with a missed pass and it's... 
well messed up by Rod Penny and it's hacked forward by Ricky Flutie London Irish chasing after it led by Dylan Armitage Arms is chasing it he's got the edge on his man oh he just couldn't hack it through himself it's come loose though and they fall on the ball and it's a try for London Irish chaos here at the Mineski Stadium as London Irish are on the length of the field I'll try and work out who scored it I wonder if it's Ta- Silozi Tangi Thakabad got his hands on the ball in the end or was it Ricky Flutie Ricky, it's a try Ricky for a London Irish anyway and Bob quite right it's Ricky Flutie in the end who falls on the ball and London Irish are surely home and dry now it's London Irish 31 Saracens 12 well it's uh, what Irish have just threatened to do so far this season against Wasps I thought you know they just threatened to cut loose perhaps this afternoon they will yeah I think we, we haven't played well as a, as a team yet and I think today now in patches we're looking like the team of last year which is great be great for our confidence now hopefully this can kickstart our season Everett's now with the conversion just uh, right of centre and outside the 22. As uh, we have another replacement warming up down below us, Danny Kutsir getting ready to come on. But Everett strikes it right footed and uh, he likes it again. He turns around straight away and that go the flags and London Irish extend their lead yet further. With uh, 52 minutes gone of this match, it's now London Irish 33. Saracens 12. Great kick by Barry Everett, just what we needed now. Hopefully we can pinch this line out or put good pressure on the line out and get some field position and maybe get some possession and just maybe slow this game down a little bit and kill a bit of time. Big day for the Armitage family. Bob having uh, two of the four sons, I think it is, playing for London Irish this afternoon. Yeah, young Stefan Armitage has come on at number seven. Small but a good, good little player. Well, it's gone right over the top, and Richie Reese again is alert to it. Good work from the scrum half. Saracens make a mess of that. Gonzalo Tieti on the crash ball. Good hands from London Irish, and Stefan Armitage has his first touch. Rumbles forward, sets the ball up, and they move it right to Kieran Roach. Kieran Roach on to Barry Everett. Quick pass, but it's just behind Dylan Armitage with a bit of a hand from a Saracens player in there. And uh, well, it's a late hit on Dylan Armitage this time, and the referee has seen that one. He chipped it through, and he was balked. And this could be a yellow card because I'm afraid that one was rather more obvious. It looks like the prop Ben Broster who could be spending 10 minutes in the bin. The crowd are baying for blood. They want to see him go. And that was rather too obvious. And the referee is indeed sending Mr Broster, the uh, Welsh international prop forward, off for 10 minutes. So London Irish with a chance to close this game out, surely, with a lead of nine points. A penalty in front of the post. Barry Everett will take it. And, uh, well, with a one-man advantage, Bob, surely they can just stem the uh, tide here and make sure they can close this one out. Yeah, hopefully Barry will kick this over make it 36-24, Saracens down to 14 men, we should should be able to close out the game, but I'm not going to say too much. No, we'd rather jinx them earlier, didn't we, <laughs> yeah. with, uh, sitting back and feeling quite pleased with ourselves, but let's not do it again. <laughs> yeah. But, uh, yeah, Stefan Armitage, not really the same build as Dallin Armitage, is it, I think Cer- it's safe to say. Certainly not, no, no. He is small and squat. Muscular. Very powerful. Yeah. <laughs> Everett now with the penalty right in front of the post, so that's, well, surely take London Irish to a 36-24 lead Never, it will, uh, nevertheless take his time over it although it is right in front of the posts from the place where the chip through from Dallin Armitage landed as uh, Everett does indeed take an age over it Modeski Stadium falls silent and Everett strikes it no problem through it goes so we have 15 minutes left here at the Modeski Stadium and it's London Irish 36, Saracens 24, thanks to that. Barry Everett.